sudden jerks in the magnetic field of the Earth could be explained by the turbulent blobs found in Earth's core. This is on Live Science by Brandon Spector. It's amazing. We also have a video having to do with the changes that we find in the Earth's core. Uh, NASA video. What's astonishing is that at one point we almost lost all our uh, the, all of the Earth's uh, uh, magnetic field, and also they claim that we've had many pole shifts. That's astonishing. Now, why is this happening? What has caused this? Earth's magnetic shield, as we know, defends our planet for from the, the solar wind and cosmic radiation, making our life on our planet possible. But every 10 years or so, it can be a jerking uh, event. Now, geomagnetic jerks, as they're called, are abrupt changes in the strength of the Earth's magnetic field, while some variations in the field are expected to occur gradually, slowly, over hundreds of thousands of years. These sudden wobbles in intensity last only a few years at most and may only alter the Earth's magnetism over specific parts of the world at a time. One of the first jerks documented, for example, briefly wrapped the field over Western Europe in 1969. Since then, a new jerk has been detected somewhere in the world every 10 years or so, and scientists still don't know what is causing this. While many geomagnetic phenomena, including northern and southern lights, the aurora borealis in the north as we know, result from electrified solar wind blasting into Earth's magnetosphere, and the jerks are thought to originate from deep inside our planet's core. That's where the magnetic field itself is generated by the constant churning of the liquid hot iron in the center. The exact mechanism of action, of course, is still a mystery about our planet Earth. Now, a new study published April 22nd in the journal Nature Geoscience offers a uh, hypothetical theoretical explanation according to a new computer model of the core's physical behavior. Geomagnetic jerks may be generated by buoyant blobs of molten matter released from deep inside the core. Well, we know that uh, recently that has been explained to be the reason why the North Magnetic Pole is moving from Canada towards Siberia. They claim that it has to do with a magma plume that was under Canada moving towards Siberia. That's taking the magnetism with it towards Siberia. Now, what is this jerk? In the new study, the researchers built a computer model that recreates the physical conditions of Earth's outer core and shows its evolution over many decades. After the equivalent of 4 million hours of calculations spent up thanks, speed up thanks to French supercomputer, the core simulation was able to generate geomagnetic jerks that closely align with actual jerks observed over the last few decades. Now these simulated jerks jiggled the magnetosphere every 6 to 12 years in the model, but the events seemed to originate from buoyant anomalies that formed in the planet's core 25 years earlier. As those blobs of molten matter approach the outer surface of our Earth, the outer surface of the core, they generated powerful waves rushing along magnetic field lines near the core creating sharp char changes to the flow of liquid that governs the planet's magnetosphere. That's what the authors explained. And eventually, these sudden changes translate into the jerky disturbances in the magnetic field high above our planet. They say jerks represent a major obstacle to the prediction of geomagnetic field behavior for years to decades ahead. The ability to numerically reproduce jerks offers a new way to probe the physical properties of Earth's deeper interior. But it's impossible to confirm this simulation results with actual observations of the core, 
As we know, it's too hot and high pressure to get anywhere near our planet's center, so this is just hypothetical. And having a model that can recreate historic jerks with high accuracy could be helpful in predicting the many jerks that will be coming in the future, as researchers wrote. So knowing when the jerks are coming could also help monitor how they affect other geodynamic processes. For example, is it possible, as one 2013 study in Nature magazine suggested, that the jerks are harbingers of longer days? According to that study, sudden changes in the fluid flow of Earth's core may also alter how the planet spins by the slightest bit, actually adding an extra millisecond to the day every six years or so. Periods where Earth's day lengthens seems to correlate with several established instances of well-known jerks, researchers said, and if that's true, the geomagnetic jerks are responsible for a slightly longer working day every few years. At least we know we've, been given, we've given them the right name. Now the thing is, though, we've noticed that a few years ago when we had the Bali earthquake, the geologists and scientists told us that that earthquake was so strong that it took a couple of milliseconds off the day, so it shortened day anyway. So we have changes in the magnetic field, as you'll see from this NASA video, many times during the past, and they've uh, concluded this from studying the magnetic properties of rocks.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.